Welcome to Jess Williamson, the podcast, your go-to podcast for raw and inspiring messages from myself and other female entrepreneurs all around business and mindset. I am an award-winning business and mindset coach and serial entrepreneur having scaled five successful businesses. I bring my unique and deep perspectives on helping you unleash your unique superpowers and build the life and business of your dreams. Let's get into today's episode. Hello and welcome back to the podcast. I wanted to talk to you about how to bring back the magnetism when your business feels a little bit heavy, a little bit stuck. You feel like you're at the plateau and you just feel like burning everything to the ground. Because in business, right, we are trying so hard to be magnetic, to grow our business and to create those huge levels of success that we can sometimes lose sight of what actually makes us magnetic and what actually makes people wanting to work with you. So picture this. You have two friends, one who just feels super heavy to be around, is always super serious, is always critical, and just a bit of a Debbie Downer in general. (laughs) And number two, A friend who just shines with warm and fun energy and who makes you feel like your best self. Whenever you're around them, you just shine. Tell me, which one makes you want to be around them? Which of these two would you rather buy from and work with? Basically, which of these two feels more magnetic? I hope you said number two. Because I don't think anyone really loves, like, I'm sure you guys have had them, the friend that you just, like, go because you have to, but then you feel super heavy after and it's just not a fun time. No one wants to be around that. So why in business do we get so bogged down on ourselves? We're trying so hard to be magnetic that we actually become the opposite. So what I want you to know is that both of these friends are parts of you. All of us go through times of super lit up, super excited, everything is flowing, everything's amazing. And then we also (laughs) go through the times where we just want to burn everything to the ground, where we get caught up in just being so serious And we're finding all these new strategies and we're just pushing harder and harder and harder and working more hours and doing more things because we think that that's how we have to build our business. I'm sure you've been there. Even if you're not there right now, I'm sure you've been there. You know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you are there right now and business is just feeling a little bit heavy, feels like momentum slowed down. Can I even do this? Like, Is this actually going to work for me? So something that I tell my clients when they are in times like this is to actually stop pushing. The worst thing we can do in these times is to keep pushing, to keep putting more pressure on ourselves because we push and then we don't get immediate results. And then we either step back and then we feel guilty for not doing anything Or we feel sorry for ourselves that nothing's happening because we pushed. (laughs) Or we just feel like, what even is the point? So all we really need to be doing is go and be your most magnetic self. When you feel at your best, when things feel fun, when things feel flowy. And that doesn't even have to have anything to do with business. Because nothing is going to happen sitting behind the desk feeling heavy and feeling sorry for yourself. You're doing all of the things, but nothing's actually happening. So when I'm in this place, I ask myself, how can I be the most magnetic version of me? This was me last Friday, and I've now gotten to a point where I recognize this within myself and shift it pretty quickly. But no matter what level you are in business, there are always going to be times where things feel a little bit challenging, where things feel a little bit harder than usual. 
but it's about how quickly you're able to integrate and move through those parts of you and parts of business. So last Friday, I was feeling like the week was just a lot. So I always have my feel good Fridays anyway, but this Friday, the sun was shining for once. And I said, I'm just going to go to the beach and have no expectation. I'm not going to put any expectation that I need to post anything on social media, that I should be selling my offer that I'm currently selling right now. I removed all of the expectation and just went. And what happened there was I shared that I was at the beach because I love the beach. (laughs) I shared the fun stuff that I was doing. And guess what happened? I received a DM and they said, hey, Jess, I really want to work with you. How can I do it? They signed up and paid in that moment while I was at the beach. And that happened because I had done the groundwork earlier in the week. I had posted things about my offers. I had sold my stuff, but then I let go and I just decided to lean into the fun energy that people want to be around. (laughs) People don't want to be around you when you're always so damn serious. So that happened because I asked myself, how do I bring this energy? That is where energetics make up a huge part of business. We can do the deeper mindset stuff and shifting these limiting beliefs, but we don't need to keep digging forever. We can always do that work, but I mean, we don't have to always just be focused on what is wrong with me and how do I fix it? Now that is the first step to then moving blocks and shifting it and and working towards that freedom. But we also need to step into the energetics of why would people want to be around you? How can you make it super fun? How can you be the most magnetic? Maybe that might be going and doing something fun, like going to the beach. Maybe it's like doing your favorite hobby that you haven't done in a while. Maybe it's going for a bike ride or a walk. Even just today, I just got back from a walk and it cleared my mind so much. Even though I have so much on my to-do list, I know that when I prioritize myself, things get to work so much more efficiently and momentum builds. So ask yourself, what can I do for myself today that will bring more fun, more magnetism, more vibrancy, more all of the good stuff? And secondly, When you're doing the work, when you're posting on your social media, when you're dealing with clients, whatever it might be, how can you make it a little bit more fun? Even let's just use sales as an example, right? We start to sell. We're excited. We've created this amazing offer. We are so ready to just get it out there and cannot wait for all the people to buy it. But you start to sell it and then no one buys. And then this anxiety creeps in of like, ooh. I put myself out there. No one's bought. That's a little bit embarrassing. Or is anyone even going to buy? Do I even continue pushing this because it seems like no one wants it? And that heavy feeling sets in. So then you either sit back feeling sorry for yourself or you push harder because you're like, cool, what I was doing didn't work. Let me step it up a notch. But we step it up a notch with such seriousness around, ooh, okay, let me lean in and harder and do these really hardcore sales strategies because I feel like I have to. No one's buying, so I better just coerce people (laughs) into buying this so I can feel a little bit better on my ego and um, we can move on. But then you do that, you do the hardcore yucky sales strategies, and then you feel worse because people still didn't buy and... You've just thrown your entire value system out the window to try and make these sales. So it's like this never ending cycle. But what if you just ask yourself, how can I make this a little bit more fun? How can I go and do something fun and then jump onto my Instagram stories while I'm in this excited state? You don't even have to talk about your offer, but how can you bring that fun and playful element into what you're doing and how you're running your business? So the other part is health. For me, I know that I need to prioritize myself in terms of rest, in terms of nutrition, in terms of exercising. So things that I've done is 
allow myself really huge breaks throughout the day, really huge periods of flow time. And what that flow time allows me to do is go do something fun. If I want to do something fun is to go have a rest or to watch Real Housewives if I want to, or to go exercise, whatever it is that I need in that moment, having those big periods of flow time allows me to do that. If I'm feeling super on fire and super lit up by everything that I'm working on, then I can lean even deeper into doing that. I hope this helps shift some of the energy around when business feels a little bit stagnant, when things feel a little bit heavy, and you can release some of that pressure that you maybe are placing on yourself. That is all I'm going to leave you with a super short episode for today. I hope this has helped you in the biggest way. If you have found this helpful or any other podcast episode helpful, it would mean the absolute world if you shared it. Share it with a friend or share it on your Instagram stories and make sure you tag me because that is how we can get this podcast out there to so many more women who just need to hear these things sometimes. So thanks for listening and I will see you on the next episode.